hi guys welcome to my youtube channel it's like six o'clock at night but for some reason i need my coffee so um i hope you guys so i would like to say my worst fear um i would say my number seven whoa count down number seven um is being stuck in a deserted island I remember when I was a kid and every time like people always go, oh, what would you do if you're in, in a deserted island? Like, no, I would not last in a deserted island. I'm very materialistic. I'm very like cutesy. I love to have my eyelashes on my makeup, my hair and like to get glammed up. I don't have time to be in a freaking like dust and dirt. I don't have time to like have a known species like appear. So no, deserted island is a freaking no go. Okay um my six fear is oh my god is being in a car crash like that is my like worst fear to mankind and it is so unfortunate that i am in a state in california where everyone drives like it's their final destination like i am so tired of people driving here i think i have to talk to the state because everyone is on their suicide mission when they're driving on the road like and my worst fear is honestly getting into a car accident i hate people who tailgate i hate people who are like don't even focus on the road i hate people who try to race i'm not gonna lie i bought a car a sport car because i thought i was all cool and i used to try to drive crazy on the road but like now that i'm getting older and wiser like no i hate all that stuff car crash is like my sixth worst fear ever 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 um my fifth fear is oh my god I had to narrow it down between two, but my fifth fear is being in a mental asylum. Like, I, you guys don't even understand. Like, I have, I'm not even going to talk about it. But, like, my worst fear is being in a mental asylum. I remember I had to get an emergency surgery for um, my appendectomy. I didn't know what the hell was going on with me. But um, I guess my, uh, like, my appendix ruptured literally for three days in, like, my tummy or whatever. I went to the hospital once and um, they told me everything is okay because it was ruptured at that time. And I didn't know what was going on. My stomach was hurting really, really bad. I went, um three days later and they told me that my appendix ruptured and i had to have an emergency surgery which was like the scariest thing ever so i went and got my emergency surgery so i had to have um i had to have been put by what do you call that word oh my god i i never know my words like i need a dictionary at this point because this is getting bad but um i had to get put in what's that when they put you to sleep oh my god i'm just like this is so bad like i had to um be put to sleep or whatever and um they they shut my body down and i remember waking up in so much pain because it ruptured i don't know like the surgery went good i'm so lucky that i'm alive because a lot of people don't come back alive when it ruptured and it's been it was ruptured for three days so i had to make sure that everything was okay and I was in so much pain that they ended up um, giving me morphine. And at that time, I didn't know what opioids was. So, like, it was just, like, crazy. So, they gave me morphine. I took morphine literally three, like, every three hours for two weeks straight. And I literally was so addicted. And it was not, like, it was an accidental addiction because I was in so much pain from, like, the surgery. And um, I remember that I went through a very crazy traumatic time in my life. So just having morphine and like i was so dependent on it because i had so much pain and i had to be able to like breathe again walk again just do like the daily activities and it was very very hard for me and it was just so crazy because it was an appendectomy like surgery and i was literally addicted um i was addicted to morphine and they had to literally I, I went through a mental breakdown and i had to go to like the hospital so they kept me in the hospital for about three weeks because like i was like losing my shit so they recommended me to go to a mental asylum and i swear guys i was in there for a day like well they're supposed to give you for three days but i was telling them i'm not crazy i'm just literally addicted to um they either told me to go to a mental asylum or they told me to go to um rehab and i'm like um i was on morphine like every three hours for three weeks like this is freaking ridiculous like you're just trying to get money off of me like this is not gonna happen and thank god i was smart about it 
so i was in the mental asylum once and i'm telling you guys like that's not a freaking place to be like i had to literally detox all the morphine out of my body and i am telling you guys i am terrified terrified um my fourth fear is scared of, i'm scared of heights guys like i can't believe i've ziplined before i was about to go um i was about to go what do you call it? skydiving i was about to go skydiving and thank god last minute it was like a 300 dollar package and i am so happy i am so happy they canceled because that could have been the death of me like i'm so scared of heights i don't know why i wanted to go and just skydive like that was just like the worst decision ever so um i never had an opportunity to skydive but i have ziplined twice actually one in puerto rico and one in i believe it was where was it i said playing somewhere else guys and i just don't remember oh my god this is so bad but um i i will if i remember i would just like blur it out but i've gone ziplining twice and it was really really cool but i'm terrified of heights i feel like i'm going to be one of those people who go skydiving and i don't know just like the parachute's just gonna like mount function and i'm just going to like die god forbid die just oh my god oh my god like i'm scared um excuse me my third 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 um fear is death without purpose like guys i don't want to leave this earth without like impacting anyone's life like i would like literally have a conversation with god and like say i need a redo like i really i don't know what's going on but like i want to be a person who impacts at least one life like if i could impact one life i would be just so happy like if i die without impacting a person's life like i would literally be like i'll be so sad you guys like that's like my worst fear because i want to be a person that people could look up to and just feel like oh my god like what you said and whatever like i want everyone like people to feel like oh my god i've impacted their life in some type of way like i don't want to leave with bad karma i don't want to leave with like being um just feeling like i caused someone pain you know so like i'm on like this list of just apologizing to people i've heard in my life so like yeah <laughs> so i don't want to leave without leaving like a purpose or an impact in someone's life um and i would say number two 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 is Oh my god i guys i'm so afraid to not have a baby like i know i'm young but like oh my god my worst fear i, I remember feel like, like oh my god i've impacted their life in some type of way like i don't want to leave with bad karma i don't want to leave with like being um just feeling like i caused someone pain you know so like i'm on like this list of just apologizing to people i've heard in my life so like yeah <laughs> so i don't want to leave without leaving like a purpose or an impact in someone's life um and i would say number two 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 is oh my god i guys i'm so afraid to not have a baby like i know i'm young but like oh my god my worst fear i remember like just writing um these like fears down and I don't know i just had i literally i didn't cry but i had like a moment of wanting to cry because like i don't know what i would do if i don't have a baby like if i'm not able to have a baby like i am really terrified of like not being able to have a baby and like i want to take all these like that's why i'm on into my chakras and stuff because like i don't want to not have a baby like i want to have a mini me like look at me like I want to have another me. Look, like, do you know how obsessed I am of myself? Like, just imagine if I have a little me, a little me in girl and boy form. Like, that's like my goal in life. Like, I wanna, like, that's my fear. I like not having a baby. Like, I wanna have a baby. Like, well, not right now, but I wanna have a baby. Like, that's my worst. Fear. 